Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about setting up Shopify stores. So not without the reason Shopify uh, is one of the most popular online store solutions out there. What's the main benefit of Shopify? For a very affordable price, it lets you build a functional online store all by yourself and not just any online store. What I'm talking about is a truly quality result, something that looks and works just like a pro would have built it. So in this video, uh, I'm gonna discuss how you can uh, how you can set up e-commerce stores on Shopify. We're converting the entire process from a blank canvas to a fully functional e-commerce store uh, to welcome our customers. So, so this video will be about how to set up your e-commerce store on Shopify. Uh, you know, it, it, it has been written with uh, you know with a beginner in mind. No coding or website building skills needed. But first. Let's talk about what is Shopify, okay? Shopify is a complete all-in-one e-commerce solution. Once you sign up for an account with uh, Shopify, it allows you to build your online store all by yourself, pick a design that suits your need, and uh, uh, pick a design that suits your need, pick a unique name and don domain name for your store, add your product and their de details, uh, uh, you know, description, etc. process orders from your customers, <clears throat> handle online payments through uh, solutions like PayPal, uh, and others run a special promotion discount and sales and uh, you know much more so uh, at the same time Shopify is a way more uh, affordable choice than hiring someone to build that store for you not to mention uh, it's more reliable over the long haul the software is still constantly upgraded and there's a you know great customer support too so uh how to get started with shopify so although this might seem hard to believe at first in order to get started and set up your e-commerce store with shopify all you need is a is an hour of time uh, first go to shopify.com and then click the get started button after that you will be taken to the sign up form just a classic thing that you will need your email password and a name for your store and uh, a friend that has a great so as you can see, there there's a like 14 day trial. So you can you don't need to, you don't need to spend any money to test things out and see if Shopify really fits you and your e-commerce store. The next step is an important one from a legal point of view. Basically, if you want to operate uh, like an actual store, you need to provide some details for your business. You know, just it's just a common web form. So after you click next shopify will ask you to yeah about a handful of additional business details based on what you select shopify will try to optimize your uh, experience going forward so at this stage it's time to start getting up the parameter for your new e-commerce store so how to set up your first online store with shopify let's start with looking for the main dashboard of uh, shopify okay so the home page of your dashboard is where you can get a detail of what's going on with your Shopify store. It's where your first order will show up and where, where you will be able to manage every incoming order. It's where you can add and manage your product inventory, product and collection and gift card. It's where you can manage your customers and every piece of info you have about them. This includes about your past orders, their personal details and their stats, example, sales volume and much more. It's where you can generate all kinds of reports uh, about your uh, stores performance it's where you can create a discount code and distribute them to people it's where you can install new apps and extend shopify with new functionality really cool stuff for instance you can install an app for seo for email marketing and so on particularly advanced useful for advanced users this is where all the setting related to the store can be found this includes things like your personal for payment settings checkout settings taxes shipping and more the main uh, screen of each panel let's uh, stop on the last item for a minute when you visit the dashboard for the first time, Shopify will present you the list of actions that you can uh, take to fully customize your, and launch your store to the public. Let's do that. Okay. In 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 case of my new stores, here's what Shopify tells me to do. So from the uh, first drop down, I'm going to select fashion and apparel. Then I'm going to add my first product. I just click on the add product button and you can see above Shopify will uh, then take me to the add product page where I'm able to uh, complete the process. So I'm calling my first product print full dog hat. I will uh, add some description plus a picture of the hat. Uh, the nice thing uh, is that adding image work to a drag and drop. So just take a image from your desktop and drag into the section mark drop file to upload like so. So at this point, you can set legal parameters such as taxes, shipping variant, and also set your shipping, but all that's all optional. When you're done, just click on save button. So if, if your product list right now, you will see the first product just waiting to start. 
So, okay, let's come back to the dashboard now and take care of the remaining settings of our e-commerce store on Shopify home link at the sidebar. At this point, we have an option like for, from those, um, the most useful option is going to be quote and honest. So, so guys, this was it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to comment down below, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Stay, stay in touch and stay safe and take care. Thank you.